Hello, my loves. I am so happy you're here with me today because I'm going to share with you my cheesy chicken sliders, baby. Okay, this here is like so much good, so much goodness. Okay, and um, we have some leftover chicken breasts here that I got from Sam's Club. Okay, let me tell you something. These little chickens are good now. I got this for like, what, $5? Like, you know, one of those kind of Costco places. Then I got me some rolls here. This was like, how much was this? I think this was like three, $3.46, $3.46. All right, for these little rolls, they are really good, okay? No, actually three ninety six. dollars all right? And um, these little rotisserie chickens, they're good and inexpensive, and you can make a meal, all right? So now we have some cheese, okay? Whatever cheese you want. I'm using Kraft American Singles because what, that's what I have in my house, okay? But if you want to use mozzarella, Swiss, whatever. We have some sliced onions, some sliced um, um, sweet peppers. We have some butter, okay? I'm going to show you what you're going to do with that. We have some oil, all right? Um, we have some beautiful cream cheese okay because this is going to be like a double cheese kind of thing and I'm going to show you how to work that we have some honey we have some mustard any type of mustard you want I'm just using regular great value mustard some black pepper some garlic powder I have some herbs that I dried fresh basil fresh thyme that I dried from my garden and Crush them together. And now we're creating some goodness here. So my loves, we are going to take some cream cheese. All right, that's been softened room temperature because it'll be easier for you to mix, okay? And my loves, the ingredients are listed in the description box below. So guys, what I like about this is that it's, it's you could take something like this and you could make beautiful little sandwiches it's inexpensive it's creative and it's not difficult to make all right so now my loves i'm adding some honey to this cream cheese because i'm gonna make like a honey mustard herb cream cheese like okay and it is so good because i think this is like the one of the stars the main stars of this script okay because you slather that on each side of the um of the bread and let me tell you it is on and popping all right so my loves to that mixture i am going to well i'm going to add a little bit more honey okay so you know you can control the amount of honey you want and mustard based according to your taste you might want it a little bit more sweeter or you might want it to have a little bit more Tank, so it's up to you. So, you know, at this point, you test how much mustard and how much honey you want. I'll give you the list of the ingredients I use, and you could take it from there, okay? Um, and uh, you could test the flavor. Now, I'm adding some black pepper. I'm going to add um, some garlic powder. Okay, and um, I'm going to add some uh, of my dried herbs. Now, what I like about this, this is a great idea for all that leftover chicken. You know, you could get so many sliders out of this. It's, you don't have to worry about doing, a, it's just about really putting this together, actually. You know, because you could get one of these chickens. You know, any leftover chicken you have, and this is a great alternative to for that leftover chicken. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of this butter, guys. I'm going to melt this butter down. And I am going to then add some garlic powder to my melted butter. Plenty of garlic powder because I love garlic. Okay. And um, then we are going to add some of my dried herbs to that 
any dried herbs you may have, okay? All right, and a little bit of black pepper, and we're gonna mix that together, and then we're gonna set that to the side. And let me tell you something, you get so much out of this. I mean, mind you, $5 for a roast, so now we're just taking some of that, taking our chicken off the bone, and we're not, we're gonna uh, break it apart a little bit, okay? Uh, my hands are clean, don't worry about that, but this chicken is $5. Um, the bread rolls are inexpensive. They're like $4. You know, there's 24 that comes in a, in a bag, okay? Have yourself a little cream cheese, one block of cream cheese. You know, season that bad boy up. Whatever cheese you may have, either it's mozzarella, provolone, Swiss, um, cheddar. And you got yourself some sliders. You know, this is great for, I think it's great if you're having a get together. You know, if you have, if it's football night or what have you. Now I'm going to add a little bit of oil to my pan, guys. Because what we're going to do, we are going to saute our onions and peppers, okay? And I'm going to saute this just enough where it softens a little bit, but it's still going to have a little bit of crunch to it, okay? But if you want to cook it down a little bit more, by all means, go ahead. Now, I'm just going to add some house seasoning. This is my complete season. I'm just seasoning my onions and peppers, and it makes such a big difference to do that, guys. It really does. So add a little house seasoning to those onions and peppers as well. Okay, and I'm sauteing this on medium heat, and I just want to soften them just a little bit. Okay, I'm adding a little bit more oil. Okay. Um, so to know that you could do this easily, take some leftover chicken and you could make this a nice, beautiful slider platter with this. Let me tell you, and I guarantee you, people are gonna be like, wow. Okay, I'm not like, I ain't gassing myself up or nothing like that, but these were good, okay? So now we're adding a little bit of garlic powder. Yes. All right. Yes, girl. When I love, I love onions. I love peppers, the sweetness of the peppers in conjunction with in those sliders let me tell you it has bite texture all right so now i'm just setting that to the side so these are my sliders i am putting them on a pan and i am going to slice them open these little bread rolls are so soft and you get 24 of them i mean if you live by a costco's a sam's club or bj's or what have you you will find these rolls and I know at Sam's Club, they were like, what, $3.96, $3.96. So, and they're nice and soft, baby. 24 in a pack, okay? Great for parties. Great for parties. So now I am taking my um, cream cheese, seasoned cream cheese, and I am putting a nice slather on each side of the bread. Okay? Put in a nice generous amount. I mean, just enough to give it a nice coating. Okay, but enough where you're gonna, it's gonna pop out um, in your palate. Okay, I mean, that honey mustard cream cheese spread that I'm making, baby, let me tell you. So I'm just speeding it up a little bit, guys. And I'm taking my chicken that I broke apart and we're putting it on our bread on one side of the bread. Um, I only have like 10, I think I would put 10 of them on here. Okay, but I was able to get a little bit more, but I really want to put enough chicken on each one, okay? And we have our oven preheated to 350 degrees. Okay, now I'm going to take our sauteed onions and peppers here, and we're putting it on our chicken. Oh my God. 
Guys, you have got to try this recipe. I just threw it together. I'm When it comes to like taking leftovers and making some tulum tulum tu with it, baby, I am the queen when it comes to taking leftovers and turning it into something. So now we're adding our cheese. Miss Girl is using American craft cheese. Okay, if you want to use mozzarella, go ahead. I didn't have Miss, I didn't have no mozzarella, so I'm using craft American cheese. Okay. All right. All right. And now we are putting our top, the, the other half of the bread on top. All right. And my love, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so. Don't forget to press that like button. Okay. Let everybody know. Spread the word and let everybody know about Jackie's cooking. Okay. Let everybody know about me. Because I know they're going to be like, girl, where you got this recipe from? You better let them know, girl, I got it from Miss Jackie's Cooking, okay? All right. Now, my loves, we are going to take our melted butter that we had seasoned with our herbs and our garlic and all that stuff. And I am slathering it on top of that bread. Okay? That's, listen... Everything is going to be well seasoned, including not only the inside of the bread, but the outside of the bread too, okay? I don't play that. If I'm going to give you food, I'm going to give you some good food here, okay? I'm telling you, you make this for a party, they're going to want you back, okay? Even if it's your own party, they're going to want to come back. If you're doing it for somebody else's party, they're going to want you to come back, okay? Okay, and we're just going to put enough butter on each top of those buns, those little rolls. All right, and now we are going to cover this with aluminum foil nicely. Okay, and we are going to put this in a preheated 350 degree oven. I did this for about, I think about 20 to 25 minutes until the everything gets nice and warm and melty okay and baby what look at that i wasn't playing with y'all see i don't i don't come to play when i come to to to, to uh, uh cook i don't come to play i come to slay okay and this is what it's about look at that I ain't playing with y'all. You know I don't play. Anybody who knows me, you know I don't play no games when it comes to food. When I'm creating, baby, look at that. All those beautiful herbs. And that melted butter with the dried herbs and the garlic. Oh, my God. All right. I'm just going to add a few of these bad boys here for my husband. Okay. And these uh, guys... It's great for lunch. Very good for lunch. Okay. Um, look, at, I'm just about to put about four of these on the plate for my husband here. And they're so, oh my God, the bread is nice and soft. And these are my cheesy chicken sliders. My beautiful cheesy chicken sliders, baby. Look at that bad boy right there. And tell me that don't look good. Not only does it look good, but it is the it, it tastes even better. Okay, now I'm about to try one of these here, honey. Oh, girl, baby, let me tell you something. The minute you take a bite into that, you're gonna taste the 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 cream cheese and the honey mustard flavor. The bread is nice and soft. The chicken just marries so well because this is double cheese with the cream cheese and your own other cheese. If you even got some mozzarella cheese and you put in the middle of this, let me tell you something. It's going to be on and popping. People are going to love these. And it was inexpensive. It was just so inexpensive. It's, it's just easy to make. And guys, let me tell you. 
you're gonna love it okay but leave me your comments guys tell me what you think i want you to try this recipe okay uh leave me a thumbs up and i need you to eat love and pray until next time